All right, Stacey Dales with the resurgent NFC North champion Bears. Stacey. Rich, when I get to the stadium tomorrow, ahead of the game between the Eagles and Bears, I'm going to be looking for number 39. All-pro safety Eddie Jackson with these Bears. He's missed the last two games with the ankle injury, limited towards the end of the week in practice. Coach Nagy on Friday declared him a game-time decision. He's questionable, but, but most important, Eddie Jackson told me himself that it would be most likely that he will play in this game. And also important to note, uh, Coach Matt Nagy said that even if he's not 100%, there's still a chance he could play in this game, given the nature of the game. Bears, 110. Eagles, minus 25, because we're generous. Coach Dick could just stop by. Right now, we're going to send you across the field. Tom Pelissero. Stacey, Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz is out for a fourth consecutive game because of a stress fracture in his back. But we did get a glimpse of Wentz on Friday as he stood on the field during practice. Tight end Zach Ertz told me for Wentz, it's all in on this team all the time. He's still getting here early, helping the quarterbacks, helping the coaches with what he sees in the game plan. Of course, the longer that Wentz sits out, the more the legend of Nick Foles grows, as if it wasn't big enough after Foles won the Super Bowl MVP last year. Foles enters tomorrow's game against the Bears as the only quarterback in the Super Bowl era to put up a 100-plus passer rating in each of his first four playoff starts, Booch and MJD. Well, that sounds like he's got a hot streak going on, uh -oh. right? It's that hot streak. It's MJD. not like the hot boys, but it's no, almost. No, it's a hot streak, all right? Well, that continue against this guy. Look at this guy right here. He's I used phenomenal. to look like that when I was a kid. You did Khalil too. Mack and the Bears defense. Can well, you? I'll tell you this much. Khalil Mack and that Bears defense, they find a way to get to the quarterback, but what does the RPO do? It slows down the pass rush, and that's what teams tend to do when you're going against great defenses that like to get after the quarterback. Put the ball in the belly here, Nick Foles is just taking what is given to him. And okay. I, I think over the, the first couple games, he wasn't really throwing the ball. He was handing it off a ton, but that's what we were giving him. Continue to give him that he'll take it. But against this game, and I called this game, Mooch, yeah. I mean, it was it was unbelievable to see the way he put the ball in the belly, and it slows down the rush, and then it gives him time to make plays, and he's throwing to the right guy all the time. Yeah, and Nick Foles now, he's 8-0 and oh in December and January and February. He Message. peaks at the right time, doesn't he, in the last three games. He's over 320 yards passing a game. Whether it's the RPOs or going back, he is hot right now. Uh -oh. Now, this guy's going to have something to say about it because they have to pressure him, stop the run on the way to the quarterback. It's going to be a good one. Can't wait for this matchup. Okay.